Hey Taurus, it's Nicole. So this is your weekly read. This is for October the 13th through the 19th. All right, we got grounding. So let's see what we have for grounding. Okay. It says, you long for the free and open worlds of spirit and light, yet you also yearn to experience the healing power and divine joy of sacred sound and living color. You are meant to bring joy, beauty, and comfort to this world, to share the spiritual light. To do so, you need grounding. Your dreams want you just as much as you want them. Grounding helps you bring your dreams into helps you bring your dreams to life in your world for the benefit of many. All right. So let's see what messages we have. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. October 13th through the 19th, 2019. What messages, what guidance do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What messages, what guidance do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This is for October the 13th through October the 19th, 2019. What messages do we have? This is for October the 13th, October the 14th, October the 15th, October the 16th, October the 17th, October the 18th. October the 19th and October the 20th. This is for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. I mean, I'm sorry, this is not. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. October the 13th through the 19th, 2019. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. October the 13th through the 19th. What messages do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? October the 13th through the 19th. Alright. So we have ooh, taking a leap of faith. Unexpected opportunity here. So I feel like you're moving forward quickly into something unexpected. I like, I think. <laughs> I think. I think. Alright. So Sunday here we have King of Swords here. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this could be you really taking action on some decisions that have been made. Monday, we got the Three of Pentacles here. So you could be being discerning or making taking action on some type of partnership. This could also be putting things in motion. So Tuesday, we have death. So I do feel like maybe there is a partnership that is transforming, could be changing, could be ending. Uh, Wednesday, we have temperance here, divine timing at play here. I feel like this is a faded transformation, divine timing here. Something has to change or end. All right, so Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday, we have the Knight of Pentacles here. I feel like there something may be, this could be some responsibilities you have. This can be um, you really putting something in motion, putting planning something out, taking your time with something. Okay, Friday, we have... The Eight of Swords, I feel like you're stuck within your head about some things, really needing to remove the sword so that you can be free. Saturday, we have the Page of Pentacles here. I feel like there's a new investment. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, there's a transformation. I feel like maybe something could be slowing down or picking up. Full energy and an opportunity to pick up the tempo of something that may have taken a long time. But Eight of Swords, there is some restriction. Someone feels restricted. So why is this King of Swords here for Sunday? Why is this King of Swords here for Sunday? Okay. Work with me. Five of Wands here. I feel like someone's going to be in conflict about a decision here. Nine Pentacles here. This is about independence here. Eight of Wands, Three of Swords. I feel like someone is going to decide to move forward here. I feel like someone's going to communicate about some sorrow or either move forward and sever a connection. Someone could be severing a connection, detaching from some conflict. So three of pentacles here. So either internal conflict or external conflict. Why is this three of pentacles here? Why is this three of pentacles here? So we have seven pentacles here. Some of you guys have been in a partnership for a long time. Eight of swords, feeling restricted in that moon card, having fear. So I feel like someone's planting some new seeds here, but Eight of Swords here, there's a mental restriction. There's some fear. There's some procrastination, some fear, delay, and some seeds that have been planted within a partnership. The underlying energy is Nine of Cups, so I do feel like 
within time, there could be an offer that brings emotional fulfillment. It could be dealing with King of Pentacles here, but there needs to be an embrace to the end of something. So there has to be a transformation within a partnership. I feel like someone is confident about moving forward here. Um, I do feel like there is some sorrow involved here. With the Five of Wands, I feel like someone's in conflict. You could be dealing with this King of Swords that's in conflict here. They're independent and wanting to move forward, but, but really needing to heal from strife. Why is this death card here? Or this could be you making a decision to move forward and set a connection and really try to heal from something that is, you know, conflicting to you. Why is this death card here? Why is this death card here? Why is this death card here? Emperor here. Half in here. Five of swords here. So, sun here. So, there's going to be some clarity here. Again, devil here. Capricorn energy here. I feel like someone has anxiety here about being true about something or being open about something. I feel like someone feels defeated here. So, I feel like either someone, you could be in a relationship, emperor here with an Aries, or this could be someone, um, there could be a transformation, there could be some stabilization to the conflict surrounding a relationship or someone could be setting boundaries someone could be setting boundaries the emperor likes he sets boundaries but he also creates structure so for some of you guys there could be an end to the conflict around the structure of a relationship especially with the back and forth energy the nine of pentacles nine of wands it could be an on and off again relationship that's causing you to have some anxiety there's a transformation in this for some of you guys this is ending for others of you, it may be moving toward, or it may be clear that this situation is karmic. With the sun card and the devil, it could be clear that the situation is toxic. could be an end to that. Someone's gaining control of the conflicts around a situation, realizing that they're, they're toxic. So temperance here. So I feel like here, why is temperance here? Two of Pentacles, Hermit here, someone's in contemplation about the imbalances here, feeling confused. Um, someone could feel like they're an option here and wanting to change that temperance here. Someone wants to bring balance. Okay, so that's what this is what's going on. I feel like there could be some decisions are made around a partnership. Um, I feel like for some of you guys with grounding under here, you could be grounding a partnership. Um, and, I, and I mean setting structure to it. I feel like someone is in contemplation about going back and forth, feeling as though it's time to make a decision, to make a loving decision. Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups here. Someone here um, could want to change the fact that maybe they're an option, not wanting to feel like an option, or someone could think that they're an option, could think that they're being juggled. So divine timing is at play here. I do feel like there is a transformation here. Someone's going to talk about the structure of a relationship. I feel like here, justice here, someone has been waiting for this to balance out for a long time. So Knight of Pentacles here. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Five of Cups here. Page of Swords here. Ace of Cups here. Someone is dealing with some... Someone is trying to restore peace. I feel like... This is very complicated to me. All right, so with this Three of Pentacles and this Two of Swords, I feel like there has been a blockage to working together or to cooperating here um, for a long time with the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like someone was being very methodical because they were dealing with some loss. Um, they were dealing with some regrets, some loss in pleasure. They were dealing with delays to this opportunity here. So I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles, this could be an offer to work on moving forward. There's still some delay and there's still some regret around the delay because I do feel like maybe it's an offer. Someone's blocking the cooperation here. So Eight of Swords here, I feel like because someone could be blocking the cooperation, kind of wanting to take their time. Eight of Swords under here. Why is this Eight of Swords under here? Why is this Eight of Swords under here? I feel like someone now feels restricted or trapped by this. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Why is this Eight of Swords here? Ace of Wands, Nine of Wands, King of Cups. Hmm. So someone here is worried. Even though this is an opportunity to lay down the burdens and really overcome this feeling stuck. So even though someone is in their head about this, Eight of Swords, feeling restricted, feeling confident, Ace of Wands, this is an opportunity from God to really find the strength to... In, to so what's happening here is I feel like this is a week of a situation that may have been kind of unstable, kind of toxic, 
kind of low vibration for you to either end that partnership and really create balance moving forward for yourself or have an opportunity to balance out this situation, but it will take some time. Someone kind of needs to get out of their head. Ace of Wands, Nine of Wands, that's Ten of Wands. So someone is feeling burdened and oppressed by this new opportunity, but really needed to find the strength to just, I guess, extend their energy or extend themselves. But there's worry about that. There's worry here about unstable efforts. There's worry, there's worry here about, this is unnecessary worry. Nine of Swords, Devil here, Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles. This is worry and unstable thoughts here about making a decision. Someone is stuck in their head. So Saturday here, I do feel like um, there could be an apology. There could be a small offer being made. Why is this? The offer is, this is the thing. The offer is getting smaller though. So with the page of Pentacles here, why is this page of Pentacles here? I feel like this is an opportunity here to ground something, but I do not feel like that this would be like a massive. Ooh. So you could see the value. Hold on. Wait a minute now. Someone's in alignment with making a decision to cooperate, but they are in a space of, of feeling restricted or feeling stuck. So even though someone may be in alignment, may be saying that they want to do that, I feel like someone has to be clear that they're asserting themselves and that they're confident. I feel like this is a confidence issue. Queen of Wands is a very confident issue. But with the Page of Pentacles, someone's not confident in the feminine energy here, isn't confident in investing. Um... A lot into the connection and the masculine energy here is confident of making an offer but not confident enough to invest a lot as well even though the situation makes you happy sun card here I feel like there's going to be clarity clarity within the offer here I feel like someone's going to assert themselves I feel like someone's going to move in a new direction I do not feel like this is a breakup I feel like someone's in suspension I feel like someone may wait someone may make a decision to wait for the commitment here and this may be an opportunity for someone someone i feel like here and i'm gonna be real with you i don't know how y'all feel about it but i feel like here someone is confident about i guess taking their time with the situation i feel like this is an opportunity now some of you guys could be moving toward a new opportunity you found your grounding but i feel like here someone's wanting to manifest some action someone here queen of pentacles you could know that you've manifested some action here by speaking what it is that you desire. I feel like once you speak what it is that you want, even though you may feel restricted in your in your words, I feel like if you speak what it is that you want, it's gonna come to you. So I feel like you gotta speak it. All right. But definitely stay grounded in this situation. This is weird. All right, so let's see what messages we have for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages for guidance do you have for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, guidance for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Moon, Venus. Nurture yourself. Go now. Yes. So I feel like right now you're choosing peace. You're choosing possibly to clear and shield your energy. Um, I do feel like that you guys are gaining freedom to have a flow of prosperity coming in. But right now you're in a space of nurturing yourself. You've been told to go now, so whatever that is for you, you know. Yes, it's time to go. So this is all I have. Peace, y'all.